one to four spot. Yun yan, no, makikita nyo, ang naiwan lang naman talaga so far ay yung PCU Das Marinas and St. Joseph. But even those teams may warang papag-asa na makahabol eventually. But for now, the focus of LPU ay makaangat at makaangat as much as they can. Pero mahirap tong kalaban nila because as you mentioned, league leaders, etong CEO. And throughout the history of this league, this team has shown dominance. That's also what they did want in their last game against St. Joseph. Yeah, again, it happened already before. Everybody was able to contribute. May kita nyo dyan sa screens yun. Uh, everyone at least had one rebound and one assist. And nobody really played over 16 minutes. So everybody got equal share of that floor and contributed properly to their teams. Para naman sa panic ng LPU Batangas, tulad na sabi mo, uh, nagaling din ito sa panalo. And it was some a game that was very closely contested. Romel Saliente, the usual general on the floor para sa LPU Batangas, he had a very rough outing dun sa simula. Makikita nyo, 2 out of 11. Pero one of those two <laughs> main field goals were the one, was the one that won the game para sa LPU. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes yun lang ang kailangan mo. It's just that one basket. But again, si Romel Salyadi has been proven to be that um, anchor para sa team na to. Okay, so good game in general yung team. He will always give his all on the floor. And in the last game, all throughout the game, he struggled until that final shot that he needed to take to actually win that victory. Kinikilala na natin ngayon yung mga magsisimula sa magkapilang kopunan. Let's hear it from our Barker. Scorpions just led by Derek Pumarin. Here comes the starting five of the LPU Batangas Pirates. Center number one, Arsene Mulunda. Starting at guard number two, Eman Tagle. One guard number six, Lowell Castro. Starting at forward number 14, John Villanueva. And at forward number 34, Christian Alamo. LPU Batangas Pirates head coach is Gino Ludovice. Referees are Jeff Ablola, Noel Marquez, and Virgilio Gutierrez. Ito ang ating mga officials for this game, Bong Gutierrez, Jeff Ablola, and Wei Marquez. On the call for this. Ito naman naman magsisimula. I think something surprising here. Uh, e yung Franz Diaz na magsisimula para sa yeah. CEU. And uh, samantalang sa kabila naman itong LPU. Wala naman yung binabanggit natin pangalan. Ito si Romel Saliente didn't start for his team. So I think both coaches trying something out. Taking that risk as we start this first quarter. Well, yung isang hugot no, para sa LPU to begin this game is Villanueva. And... You see why? Yun defensive purpose That's niya. That's right. In, a, in a, on the very first defensive possession, nakanyang kumpunan. He was the one who got the stop. Yeah. Again, I, I think LBU did their uh, homework. Yung ka isa isa talo ng CEU in this uh, tournament. Inang galing because of more of a defensive loss. Hindi sila nakaperform well against that defense of Olivares. So LBU is trying to try something out here. Hopefully, it will pay dividends. Tatlong segundo na sa shot clock ng mga nakapula. Tagle had to put it up. Tagle will miss the mark. And the off, high over everyone, easily getting that rebound. Si Iyo, mo-opensa ngayon. Looking to score the first bucket of this game. Diaz was hacked. You know what I appreciate with Diaz, I think, compared to the other points, you know, Sina Caballero, Sina Wamar. Wamar likes shooting from the outside, but Diaz likes penetrating. He is an offensive guard para dito sa CU. And right now, I think Coach Derek Pumarin, what gusto niyang putasin kagad yung uh, gitna ng LPU, I know. And we can see that uh, undersized ng LPU compared to this team. Juan, itong CEU, we don't have to say much about their success dito. I mean, throughout the entire the history of the UCBL, they've always made it to the finals, champions of the second season, runners up of the first. At ngayon niya, after an opening day loss to Olivares College, they've won six straight. And I think it's interesting how uncontested usually yung mga road nila to the finals. They are a well touted team, ang ganda ng sistema nila. The team was actually built to play the system. We can see good guards coming out of this school, but. This year, is, it, the story might be different. You know, you've got Olivares, you've got Deliman just knocking on the doorstep. It's not going to be an easy way to the finals para sa kanil. Well, para sa LPU, obviously, it has been a topsy-turvy season para sa kanila. May mga panalo, may mga talo din. But what will they have to do para maisahan itong CEU as you see, Ginnara, with the first field goal of this game? Yeah, you have to play.
play 40% of good basketball against CEU because we know CEU's got such a deep bench that if ever they have players that don't perform well, kaya nilang ipalitan at magpasok na ibang tao. LP, on the other hand, doesn't have that luxury of having that kind of deep bench. But if ever you have that strong five, that strong five will have to be consistent. You've got uh, Soliente last game. Buti nila nakashoot siya ng game winner, but he struggled all throughout the game. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. Maaga palita ng mga tao. Para kay Coach Gio Ludovice. Kubo na agad si Villanueva. And like you said, si Saliente. Nakita din naman natin agad. Hindi rin tumagal ang LPU na wala yung kanilang leader on the floor. Uh, LP mahilig nilang iubo to si Molunda. Um, probably only plays 50% of the ball game as an import. Ang official na nakita natin doon kay Dio. Just held that ball high. Alam niyang walang makakaabot doon. And spotted a wide open Christian Uri for the Deuce. 5-0 to zero ang ating score. You'll see this play again. May mga susundot. Taas ko na lang. And the backdoor cut from Uri was rewarded. We'll cut to a break. May time out tayo. Magbabalik po ang UCBL. Aldo Diouf against St. Joseph, walang nakasabay sa kanya. He was seem, uh, simply peerless. And look at those numbers, Juan. Sheer dominance. Yeah, and again, it, ang hindi natin masyado nakikita dyan sa statistics is the ability to really help out. He's good community. Such a good kid, 19 years old, but his ability to, you know, have that chemistry with his team, it's such a huge factor, especially for the CEU team. Ang nakikita natin dito sa CEU, though, they started out the game na allowing LPU na maibaba yung bola. And then suddenly, All of at a that sudden. nine minute mark, they threw out that or this full court press that we're uh -huh. seeing from them. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Jerry Strill, CEO on offense. This is how you actually beat LPU. LPU usually has a good start. They start strong with their full court pressure, they go hard on defense, staying in front of everybody. They showed this in their previous games. But then come third, towards the end of the third quarter and the fourth quarter, problem and they cannot sustain it. So right now what C is doing is early on palang, binubugbog na agad nila tong LPU, hindi na nila pinapabuelo kasi tinatapatan nila yung same intensity na pinapakita ng LPU in the first quarter. And yet another turnover para sa kupunan ng LPU. And nakita mo yung jot. Yun yung nagagawa ng pasulpot sundut, sundut, sundut na full court pressure. Saliente, anticipating the full court pressure, actually panicked without even the full court pressure being implemented. So psychologically, iba din yung nagagawa na, na nakakaagaw sila from a full court press. Maririnig mo yun, eh, yung switching defense. And it really has become a weapon in the game of basketball. Lalo na sa collegiate level, I feel. Makakaagaw na naman ang CEU. Chan will finish the fast break. 7 to nothing start. Para sa Scorpions. And then now, big left off a of basket. They go full court. Gives uh, LPU a different look. Delays them. The shot clock. And another error. Dio will throw oh. it down. And Clarion finally makakabutas. Maganda yung release pass doon ni Saliente. Again, for CU, walang nag-help. Of course, ang nakaago dun si Diof. There should have been a communication na wala siya nang binabantayan because he took that basket. Tsaka mag-isa na si Diof uh -huh. eh. It was sure two points. So pwede na bumabala at ng mga ibang right. hindi naman magpe-pressure. Here's Uri. Ginitara. Iikutan si Alamo. And even with the defense of LPU na nakaset up dun. Walang nagawa para pigilan ang CEU. Another full court pressure. Good break, though. Tagle, lazy red. Magandang pagbasa ito. They're just trying to get past the the press, no? Nakita natin si Coach Derek Kumari sa si Misenya sa Kay Chan. Hindi siya nagrotate in their opportunity, but away, away. Here's Tyler Chan getting that boost. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. 
Yo, natapik yung bola, so it will stay with LPU. Just kano ka hirap naman yung break yung press. Pag nag long pass ka, paano mo naman malulusot na yung long stretched arms na ito ni Dio? It's like throwing it over a football goal. At kung malampasan mo naman yung uh, mahabang kalamay nito ni Dio, eh malamang lalampas din sa mga linya. That's what happened earlier. Pasalamat na rin ang LPU natapik ni Dio. Daligdig, calling the flex play. Mulunda comes out to get that basketball. Pitong segundo sa shot clock nila, Mulunda. I like that attack. Yeah. You know, just take it to the heart of the defense. Kung masapal ka, masapal. But that time, you see what he got, the foul. And he, he, he has to stay aggressive. Kasi kung mapapagod to si Diof in terms of defense, then it's going to slow him down also in offense. And it's going to force him to sit on the bench. All the more if you get him in foul trouble. Nine point lead para sa CEU na sa free throw line si Mulunda. Gets nothing from that free throw line. Sayang yung mga ganun pagkakataon. Chan, may awak ng bola kontra kay Mulunda. Inabot kay Ginitaran, Rich. Sends it to the left side. Diyoko set the pick para kay Diaz. France, balik sa kanyang big man. Beautiful basketball, pick and roll to perfection. Again, they just knew how each other plays with tendencies. They like Diaz waited for the defense to collapse to him. Slow rotation for LPU. That was a good clean layup para dito kay Dio. At kung napansin nyo dun sa replay, it really was the perfect time for him to pass that basketball. Kasi binitawa na ni Mulunda yung kanyang tao. And the, these little things, no, yung timing, it's, it's a matter of a split second too late baka nakahabol yung defense. A split second early, baka hindi rin naging ganun ka-effective. Yan yung nagagawa ng kakalaro mo. I mean, we know that CEO already played and had their stint in our um, D-League. And uh, having to play those extra games, it builds that confidence yung uh, in basketball IQ and intelligence, intelligence mo tumataas. And Diaz just perfectly dishing out that assist. Pero mukhang natamaan si Diof. That's why it was Umanozi na nag take ng bonus free throw. Diof is actually on the bench right now being attended to. Makikibalita tayo dyan. Samantala, the hustle of Umanozi strips that basketball away from Mulunda. Seven seconds na lang naiiwan sa shot clock. Ginitaran, makakaagaw pa. Two on one break. Rich gets bumped. At bumunta siya sa free throw line. Yeah, the stifling defense of CEO. Alam mo, hindi sila, nag hindi sila nakakaago dun sa one-on-one -on -one defense. Eh. Kaka-pressure nila, their goal is for the guy to release the ball. And as soon as that person releases the ball, that is when the rest of the other guys actually come in to step into the passing lane. And right now, they force six turnovers in this ball game against LPU. That's also the seventh point of a turnover. Pwede pang dagdagan ni Ginitaran with the second free throw. Well, that has been the, the telling factor dito sa UCBL. No? I, we've seen that same pattern, Juan, from different teams. Kung sino yung makakapag-force ng more errors, kung sino yung bibigay dun sa full-court press, siya yung mahihirapan talaga dito sa liga to. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. Four and a half minutes remaining in the first quarter. 17 to 4, ang labang ng CEU. Saliente, maganda sana yung kanyang intention. Wanted to get it to the league dig. Pero miscommunication dun. And then again, I think in basketball, especially in half-court set, you, you, everything has to be done with a purpose. Diba? You cutting to the basket, what is your purpose? If you're not looking at the ball, then makaka problema tayo. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cafe France. This time, LPU naman ang nakaagaw. Napasaran. Had to send it out. Mag-isa sa ilalim si Clarion. He was asking for it. Saliente hingi ng pick. Aksalan ang magsiset. Romel, single digits on the 24, goes cross-court. And even, even with the half-court set, kahit wala ng full-court press, nagta-turnover pa rin ang Pirates. Saliente right now is just not in his right form. Committing turnover after turnover. Chad will attack. Uy, tip in. I don't even think it was Umanozi who tipped that in, but he'll get the bucket. Not sure, ah, pero baka nga siya naman. 
Right now, good scouting report that to the CEU because LPU did the exact same thing against Olivares. Young leak out nila. Almost got them that victory. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Adline. Jay Axalan, who missed on his first attempt sa ating laro. He's one guy na who can make an impact para sa LPU, but we haven't seen much from him. Christian Uri stopped on his tracks by a foul. Ngayon ayaw siya kasi he was about to kick it up on Ruben Diaz. Pero nabigay mo na yung foul. Uri, however, will be able to take two free throws dahil nasa penalty na itong LPU. Mintes yung unang free throw ni Christian Uri. Si Uri, nung D-League pa lang, no, nakikita na natin napaka-steady contributor already for his CEU Scorpions. And that's also what he has been here in the UCBL. Actually, solid team starting by the CEU when they played in the D-League. They're not playing like a collegiate team. They're actually playing like a semi-pro team. Uh, you've got Chan, you've got Caballeros, you've got Wamar, Inetara. These guys are veterans for CEU. At kung isipin mo, hindi pa nga pumapasok si Wamar. The third guard off the bench was Judel Fuentes, who can also yeah, put up a string of baskets. Saliente. Pababa na shot clock ng LPU. Lapasaran. Naagawa na naman. The steals of CEU piling up. Fuentes, quick trigger. Wala yan, but the tip in from Ginitaran. I like how Ginitaran plays, just sticking to the ball, not giving up on any place. Maganda yung tip pass dun, ha? Kaya naman nakabuta si Saliente. He's trying to work hard for a bucket here. Ramel Saliente, the fall away is good. He had to take matters into his own hands. Not really seeing help. He was against three or four players of CU. Walang buha ba from his teammates. 2 and 20 remaining in the first quarter. 16 point lead para sa Scorpions. Puentes umingi ng pick. Refuses to take it. Judel is bumped. The league dig will be called for a foul. So many times, no wala na nagiging ibang option ang LPU. But to give up a foul dahil dun sa aggressiveness ng atake ng CEU. And that is also the reason why the Scorpions are up 22 to 6. Two minutes, ten seconds remaining in the first period. Ito po yung mga so far. You saw Romel Salient who scored the last bucket para sa LPU. But nakakatatlong made field goals pa lang sila as you can see. LPU only with six points. Ang CEU naman, umaarangkada na with 23 big ones. Make that 24 after a couple of free throws mula kay Judel Fuentes. Saliente, the pass to Axalan. Bumalik sa kanya yung bola. Saliente will try to break that press. He gets it to their front court. E1 kay Alamo. And Alamo finishes despite the bump. Much better offense yan para sa LPU. Yeah, I think their ability to spread the ball. Force CU to commit to their own guys. And at the last minute, that dish. Puti na lang aggressive to si Alamo. But it could have been a different story if it was D off, not Ominazi under the E. Yeah, no, and we also have to love the timing din ng pasa. Pinuri natin kanina si Diaz din sa pasa niya kay Dio. The same thing could be said. Din sa pasa ni Saliente, really drew, drew the defense bago niya binigay. So right now, LPU trying to form the 2-2-1 full court pressure. Hoping to delay at least CU's offense. But that wasn't the case. Well, they do force a miss. Pero hindi na because of the pressure defense yun. Yung save ni Alamo. Lands in the wrong hands. 
And the foul pass here on Ozzy, so he'll get back to the free throw line to take a pair. He's 0 for 1 from the free throw line, but the move of Ozzy. Hindi man siya kasing tangkad at kasing lengthy ni Mado Diov. You see his body is is built. Well, a bit better, siguro than kay Diof. Mas may mass. And he's definitely a role player, not really more of your go-to guy. Katulad ni Diof. Minazi is a good uh, person to set screens, try to bounce out, fight for the ball, push the big guys out. He's a he's a he's a good role player para dito si you if you have a heavy offensive team. But there he is getting a block on Aksalan. Alamo, na wala sa kanya yung bola. He was looking for a foul. Wamar may awak ngayon. Caballero to the cutting Fuentes. That's a miss. Rebound by La Pasaran. See you all of a sudden brings in their guns. You've got Wamar and Fuentes all at the same time in Caballero. That was a great move. Wala kay La Pasaran. Twenty-six to eleven, fifteen-point lead for the CEU. Umanozi will lose that basketball. You see the frustration on his face. Meron din mga unforced errors kasi itong CEU, although not as many as LPU, obviously. Pero nas nanghihina yung sila. La Pasaran, Mexerato Alamo. LPU spreading that floor well, pero what will happen sa kanilang offense? That's a question right now. Castro receives that basketball. He will attack. We're seeing a lot of one-on-one -on -one yeah. attacks sa LPU, pero baka yun na yung best bet nila to score it. Maganda rin kasi yung rotation ng defense na CEU. But if, I mean, if, you've got, if you're playing against CEU, John, who has, has probably a quicker lineup than you, Cutting to the basket is not really something that you want to set. You want to set screens, solid picks to stop these quicker guys from catching up to you and then finding your open guy. Because you know they're going to be able to do it fast, But cutting to the basket without really any purpose, that's why it's hard to help you. La Pasara, he's going to throw it off. He's going to the second try, the third one finally gets the bucket. I like that consistency and resiliency of Anthony Alamo. Didn't really wait for Diof to recover in defense. Caballero had to invent the shot and he gets two points. That's a foul on Wamar. Kanina pa sila. Actually, the last game pa nila yan. The last time they met, itong si Wamar and si La Parasaran, matagal na nagkakainitan to. Oh, that was a very smart move on Alain La Parasaran. He was drawing the foul. Kanina pa ginigit get, you know, trying to get to get in the head of Orlan Wamar. Sa tigulo niya na sinabi natin, pag ikaw ang gumante, ikaw na huhule. The flavor that you get from UCBM, the, the, the kind of action that we see both guys trying to challenge, and it's just good, healthy competition between these guys. Ako hindi lang hindi sa pagbamarunong, but I would. Ngayon kasi inupo sila pasaran. I thought it was something good that he done, he, that he did. I thought he could have stayed more on the floor and tried to frustrate Omar a bit more. Castro beats the first quarter buzzer with that bucket. So after a, a very flat start para sa LPU Batangas, they were able to gain some ground late in that first period. Pero yung lamang ng CEU just continued to rise. It's now at 15 points, 28 to 13. We'll take a look at some of the highlights ng Scorpions. Yeah, you can see immediately that the transition attack ng CEU. And after making a basket, they go on to implement a full court pressure. They forced so many turnovers. Against um, Scorpio, against LPU, and this guy leading the break. Imagine Dio leading your fast break attack. That is a tremendous first quarter para sa CU. Indeed it was. Kaya ang alamang sila ngayon, well, 13 points lang because they counted yung huling tira ni Lowell Castle 28 to 15. Magbabalik po ang inyong UCBL.
Orlan Wamar is sa mga leaders ng CEU and kahit hindi pa masyado siya nagpaparamdam dito, his team is already up by 13 points. LPU trying to bridge the gap. Saliente goes to the left side. They go back to Rommel. Anim na segundo na iiwan. Diok tumapik mula sa likod. Sapal pa rin. And that's going to continuously happen for, for LP. Sinabi mo, Hachat, nagiging one-on-one -on -one place. And ang hirap mag one-on-one -on -one against CU who always rotates on defense. Alam mo, inaabol yung bola. Could not get to it. Wamar picks it up. And Caballero is fouled by Saliente pag-ikot. Hindi binigyan ng espasya. And that's a great call from our officials. Mga window of opportunity na pwede ng matagit ng LPU. You know, at some point they're able to break the press, but as soon as they cross, yung yung psychology, psychology of having somebody chasing after you, forcing LPU to hurry their shots, and uh, so far that has caused more problems for them because they've been missing too many turnovers. Nine and twenty to play sa ating second quarter. May sampung segundo pa sa shot clock ng CEU. Alamo gets the steal. Tagle wisely resets the offense netong LPU. Si Castro may hawak. Saliente has been replaced by Lapasaran. Tagle, 9 on the 24. Nakaharang sa kanya si Caballero. Now they want to involve more teammates. Pick and roll between Castro and Mulunda. That's a foul on Diov and... He was trying to scare the referee into thinking that uh, all of them were going to reverse the tawag. Din, but LPU is just having a hard time on terms of one-on-one -on -one because it's so hard on man-to-man -man defense, one-on-one -on -one defense. Na ito na siyo. They always stay in front, highly pressuring the ball carrier. And then you've got Dio helping out. But there, Alamo asserting his height. Ang ganda ng no, ginawa ni Alamo. But he got tempted there to make the swipe. Sabi ni Mulunda, sayang bola na inapin mo. If you're Mulunda, you know that Diok likes running. Sinabi nga ni Anthony Diok, if he wasn't playing basketball, he'd be probably um, playing soccer. But take a look at this replay. Alamo timing it well, not waiting for that weak side help defense to come. And that semi-hook worked perfectly for him, bringing the lead down to 12. And the best thing, I think, about that move is a 20-year-old Christian Alamo who's only in grade 11 one. Grade 11? Yeah. And ang uh, binabangga niya dyan, isang Rojas na veterano na. Naglaro na rin sa D-League, has had experience sa maraming liga. And yet, yung batang alam mo, hindi, hindi umatras and he really showed what he can do. Napasaran. Well, there's miscommunication yeah. to sa depensa na CU. Dalawa sila nakaharang doon. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Adlite. And, and while Mar is just enjoying this matchup against La Pasara, and he's asking for it. Castro over Diof, no good. The mere presence of Diof and his outstretched arms forcing guys to change their shot in mid-air, making it look like a bad shot. Caballero nagdadala ng bola para sa CEU. In front of him is Castro, Diop, nakalusot. Nagmadali ito sa kanyang tira and that's why it didn't get any points there. Castro lost the basketball, pass to Mulunda. Arsene, kick out, tackle mula sa labas. That's good! Uh, one of the very rare good runs by LPU. That was a good find for that wide open three by Mulunda. Diop, susubok bumawi, he gets the two points. I thought that should have been a delay yeah. of game violation. Gawakan pa ni Diop and binaba yung bola. But no warning was given. Tagle, cross court kay Castro. Noel, wala. Mulunda, the second try. So nothing there. At dalawang LPU uh -huh. Pirate, nag-agawan for that rebound. Lumabas ang bola and it's gonna go back to CU. Yeah, probably just seeing the, gap, the glass half full para dito sa LPU for you to have two guys aggressively going for the rebound. That's a good sign because you're gonna have to need everybody on the floor to gang rebound against Diof to secure that offensive or defensive rebound. But unfortunately, it, it, it forced a turnover. Diof na naman. Open it up. Won't miss. 
Rebound taken by LPU. So, maraming mga opportunity na nakukuha ang LPU. But then, yup! with the second jam of this game. You gotta love this kid. You see Diop, no, he, he missed that shot. It was a poor attempt. But then he stays and sticks on, uh, in terms of defense and gets that two back. And he's had two dunks dito sa ating laro. Pareho yun, coming off of his own steal. Lapasaran will try to attack. Pero andun yung defense ni Diop. Napaisip siya. Clarion to Castro. Corner. Three ball. It's good! Three points! for all the successes CEU has had dito sa ating laro. Lumalaban talaga. Itong LPU Batangas. And they're just down by 11 points. Well, Castro in his previous game had 21 points and 6 rebounds, 3 steals. Had a really good shooting afternoon with 7 out of 12. So we're hoping that we can see it. They're going to be needing his firepower against this much touted CEU. This was the move earlier from the offense. It's not even going to But Castro, unaware, na may humahabo sa likod niya, turns into a steal, turns into a jam. Tormento. Pasa sa loob kay Rojas. Off, but good tap there. Wala kay Rojas. Nago din naman ng LPU. A chance for them to trim the deficit down to single digit. La pasara na iwasan si Wamar. Orlando will pull up. Jumper is off. Probably not the shot he'd recommend. That was one against four. Wamar trying to get back that point. La pasara scored against him. That's what we mentioned earlier, no, Juan, yung eagle huh? ni Orlando Amar. Dahil matched up nga siya dun sa nakakinita niya na si Lapasaran. Eh, si Lapasaran getting that rebound. You have to love the effort of Alian Lapasaran. Pupunta pa siya sa free throw line now to try and get a pair of freebies. Five and seventeen left sa ating first half. It's a nine-point lead lama para sa CEU. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Cafe Fran. Get this judge just in this ball game. CEU has already scored had 13 attempts from the free throw line. Sa matalang apat palang tong uh, LPU. And the problem na para sa LPU ay eh, wala talaga ng asing tangkat. Video. No one there I to... Mean, but I think you can put a body on him, John. I mean, if you can push him, I think Larion has got that weight and strength to keep oh, Diop yeah. out of that shaded area. Because obviously, you're not going to win anything if you're going to go up against Diop on a jumping match. Uh, That's right. But Diop also with his fundamentals. Pag inangat niya yung bola, alam niya ha, paano po protectan. And he knows also how to get bucket. He has given CEU a 10-point lead. 5.02 remaining in the first half. Magbabalik po ang inyong UCBL. Alian Lapasaran was steady noong kanyang unang anim na laro dito sa UCBL. Pero against PCU din naman, that's when he turned on the Jets. He scored 15 points, meron pang 5 assists. You're still watching the UCBL Season 3, Our Time to Shine. Jot Sulit and Juan Banal on the call for this. Hagle. Ganap ng kakampi. Now gets it to Mulunda. Mulunda has yet to score dito sa ating laro, if I'm not mistaken. But definitely, hindi paramdam yung impact niya. Agli now will take a three. Masyado malakas. Ginitara na Diof. Nagagawin sa rebound. That's the eighth board of Maudo Diof. Ginitara na attacking baseline. Hanging in the air. Pasa kay Diof. Ball goes up. Nagahanap ng foul. Ito si Diof. 
But imagine that, he was able to pick that pass by just standing. And sometimes he goes see you, gusto mo ibato na lang sa loob, bahala na si Diof kunin yung bola. Like we said, I mean, how can this guy begin so, you know, get so deep into that shaded area? And may hirapan ka talagang pigilan siya pag nakuha niya nandiyan. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Happy Toothpaste. Diop at Masyas nagpabanggaan. Away from the basketball, Saliente, bibitaw ng tres, no good. Wala yung bola kay Diop, picked up by Ginitaran, three on one break. Chan using the left hand, absorbing the contact. Pero yung kanyang focus was there. Napasaran, trying to go for the quick bucket, decides to step on the break. Saliente ngayon, umaatake, supalpal ni Diop. UCBL's 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. Napakatinding defensive play ito. You see, it's Saliente. Well, alam niya, no? he took a risk nung inatake niya yung defensive play. Yung sinasabi mo kanina, we had a play kanina a while ago where you, uh, Molunda attacked the defense of Diop, paid dividends, he got a foul, but dito sa pagkakataon, same intention, but Diop learning from that experience, just having a clean block. Tagli. Missing on that acrobatic layup. Ginitaran, ginugulo, nakaagaw si Lapasaran, and he will lay it in. Lapasaran, katulad mo, sinabi mo, Judd, this guy is resilient. Makulit siya against this attack of CU. If you are careless, he's gonna convert those steals and turnovers into points. Pitong puntos na si Lapasaran. He also has a couple of steals. Diaz, sidestep sana, but... Door was close. Na alog. Ito si Franz Diaz. We'll take two free throws. Jerry Skrill is also supporting UCBL 2018 season. This is going to be the 14th free throw attempt of CEU in this ball game. Fortunately, that was a miss. So they're shooting now 10 out of 14 from the free throw line compared to the only five attempts of LPU. Pero, Juan, what's the reason kung bakit hindi pa rin talaga tuluyang naiiwan itong CEU? Because we've seen them uh, in some occasions, talagang first half pa lang, they're enjoying a 20-point lead, 30-point lead. Great block there for Ginitara. What is, uh, what has been the key na for LPU kung bakit somehow nakakadikit sila? Yeah, so far in the second part, I think what they've done, and you can see this, how immediately they attack that after breaking the press of CU. They are able at times, probably 80% of the time, to break that press. And when they attack, they're able to get fouls, or they're able to score off of that. And if ever they do miss, they turn and return the favor by stealing again. Non-stop on the and LPU against CU. Saliente, hindi makukuha yung kanyang jumper. Bola, pupunta ngayon sa CEU. And you see the difference dun sa kumpiyansa ng LPU Pirates kapag walang diok sa sahig. You see them attacking more and become more aggressive. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. That's the window that you need. As soon as Diop sits on the bench, it's gonna be a different dynamic para dito sa CEU defense. And you can see, last na pasan, this guy is keeping them afloat. Unfortunately, he put his face dun sa harap ni Ginitara na tinamaan nung umiikot itong si Rich. I think Lapasaran got hit with an elbow. But yeah, you're right. You know, that hustle is definitely there. Nagahanap ng foul itong si Coach Derek Pumarin. Kaya siya nabigyan ng warning. Did you see a, a foul there? Mula kay uh, uh, I, I think it was a good defense para kay Lapasaran. It, it was more of um, Ginitaran who initiated the contact. Fortunately, natawag siya kay uh, Lapasaran. But I mean, uh, ako nga for me, ang ini-enjoy ko dito is you can see Wamar commenting all the way from the bench. Nakita niyang bumagsak ko si Lapasaran. Nagli. May hawak ngayon. 12 seconds pa sa kanilang shot clock. 11 ang inaabot nito. Diaz with the tap na recover naman ni Eman Tagli. 6 seconds. Do they know? Now Lapasaran makes his attack. Lapasaran losing it. Has to put it up. 
mauubusan ng oras ang LPU. Well, maganda, kung maganda yung ball movement nila, making CU's defense work, they have been scoring up to that. But if it's one and one, then it hasn't really paid dividends. 39-28 ang ating score. Under two minutes to play in the first half. We'll be back in a bit. Ito ang uh, ilan sa mga aksyon na naganap kanina. Maudo Dio has had two of those electric dunks dito sa ating laro. And he's done a lot more than that. Ito yung pangalawang agaw niya that led to a dunk. So you got points, rebounds, blocks, steals, and even assists won. Everything has been done by Dio. And I get this, we're only in the second quarter. We're not even halfway through this ball game, and this guy's close to a double-double, and probably with the way he's playing defensively, could even probably push for a triple-double. Alam mo, hindi ako magugulat, no? Lalo na with his blocks already four here in the first half. Ang triple-double ba sinasabi? Yung ini-imply mo, Chad? Parang mahiling rapa niya ata sa assist. Pero kutob ko talaga, if there's gonna be a triple double blocks yung pangatlo. Diaz kinugulo ni Tagle. There's that pick mula kay Chan. A steal by LPU. Lapasaran ahead. And Lapasaran finishes the lay in. And this combination of LPU with Tagle and Lapasaran is creating problems for CEU. Makukulit ang kanilang mga paa at kamay. Just being active on defense. That's what you're asking a while ago, Jad. Bakit dikit pa rin? It's because of that. Consistent so far ang LPU in, 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 in creating pressure against that offense of CEU. Chan, gusto ng kumuha ng tres. He gets it. Pero katulad ni Tyron Chan na playing the power forward position who can also shoot from the outside, then that's a different, that's another arsenal para dito sa CEU. LPU na basag yung pressure defense. Under a minute to go. In the second quarter. Flex play. You see that big coming out. Yan yung flex play ng LPU. Aksalan attacking. Aksalan naglambitin. Was trying to draw a foul. Walang nakuha doon. Ginitaran. Iniwasan ang lahat. Hang, bang, bucket. For Rich Ginitaran. As you'll see here, he'll carry that basketball one two step, yeah. absorbs the contact, still to focus, and the upper body straight to get the deuce. He slowed down his pace from that quick attack cross in the half court and then read the defense. He saw that that lane was open but had to angle himself a little bit, so changed his pace, angled himself for that wide open layup to the basket. Saliente nakakita ng puwang nila basket tagle. Three-point shot from the corner is no good. Umanozi with a rebound. 20 seconds remaining. Patay na ang ating shot clock. So pwedeng CEU nang tumira ng last shot of the first half. Initaran using that pick from Chan. Working against Saliente. Nakaagaw ang LPU. Romel Saliente will get the lay-in and the foul. In the first quarter, sobrang daming turnovers na napwersa ng CEU. They really scored off of errors of LPU. Pero they, here in the second, marami rin namang nakuha mga steals ng uh, Pirates. And that's, those have led to opportunities like this. A three-point play looking to be completed by Saliente. 2.6 seconds na lang naiiwan sa ating second quarter. Saliente misses. Caballero, half-court team. Off to the left. At the end of 20 minutes of basketball action, 12 puntos ang lamang ng CEU Scorpions, 44 to 32. It has been a lot of basketball we've seen at merong patayong second half. That's what we bring to you after this break. Compared to the 40% of LPU, but the big number in favor of CEU is the number of fouls given, shooting fouls given to them, resulting to an 11-18 free throw attempt compared to the two out of six lana LPU. But take a look at the block party that uh, Diof has started for CEU. He's got this, the team has a total of seven blocks. Four of that is from Diof, but again LPU 
keeping in step with CEU, equalizing in terms of fast break points. Ito ang ating mga halftime stats. Ay atin sa inyo na Maxel Power Tools. Let's also take a look at our leading scorers. Sino nga ba mga gumagawa? Dalawa nang malalaro ng CEU in double figures. Yeah, you've got Geoff and Ginitaran. Not really a surprise para dito sa CEU. They have that. They have led CEU into this 12-point lead, followed by Chan and Uminozi. Uminozi, a surprise performance, really a good help from the bench. But on the side of LPU, Batangas, you've got Lapasaran, who has been implementing that non-stop nose-to-nose -nose defense against the whole guarding uh, guard lineup of CEU. So he's got nine points in the game. Alamo started out the first quarter with seven points. And then Tagle and Castro, two guards uh, of, of LPU, still playing hard-nosed defense, trying to make sure that they stay in this game. And hopefully, by some chance, they can win and take this home. Well, we have 20 minutes of basketball action in the ng CEU at LPU Batangas. But before we go to our second half, let's go to our top 5 plays of the week. Ito ang inyong UCBL Top 5 Plays of the Week. At number 5. Ito. Oh, look at that leg in with another steal and another bucket. He is clean. Bente tres na itong si Andy Degin. I gotta appreciate this effort. Sabi mo, David versus Gulaya. Ito, David talaga. At number 4. Dito, apat ang minuto na lang sa so, ating ball game. Oh, what a reverse ah. there! Kaya na, mahirap na tira eh. Ganda na finish ni Ramos dito. Oh, oh. Won't be surprised kung hindi maging part siya ng ating uh, top 5 plays of the week. At number 3. Like a pogo stick. Pogo stick, ang talon ng talon. Oh, Revolasio getting that good feed! Coming from Keith Peralta. What a pass by Peralta. Ay, talaga yung Peralta. That will be part of the top plays of the week. At number two. Crazy game ito. Sakasara leaking out. Pinabot. Oh, big oh. luck! Big luck! Big luck by Jess. On the other side, they call. Sumakadat. And they think. Yung number one play of the week. What will Saliente do? Down to five. Maybe taking a little too long here. A second. Saliente throws it up. Oh! Oh! Dagger! Dagger! Who did know that? Dagger! What a way to finish the game if they down that basket. I wasn't looking at the timing. I wasn't too sure, but grab it. At yan ang inyong top 5 plays of the week. Abangan ang umaat kabong aksyon ng UCBL. Start of the third quarter tayo ng UCBL Season 3 laban sa pagitan ng CEU Scorpions at LPU Patangas Pirates. Shot sulit at Juan Banal po. May hatid sa inyo ang tagisang ito mula sa Olivares College Gymnasium sa Sumat Maranaque. Maraming salamat sa patuloy niyong panunood at pagsuporta sa UCBL. We're already in the second round of eliminations. There's a foul that's whistled on Tagle. You gotta appreciate the defense of LPU. Just starting the second half, quite aggressive in denying all receivers of CEU trying to slow down their offense. Diaz, kasama niya ngayon, Ginitaran, Puri, Diof, and Chan. Lapasara nakaagaw na naman. Lapasara, try to go glass, walang makukuha doon. D off the forward pass to Chan. Tyrone Chan will finish. Tyrone Chan! That's how good CEU is in terms of forcing turnovers and converting them into points because they can run the floor well. Sanay na sanay sila to play and practice against the full court pressure. And so if it's done against them, they can easily break it. Para naman sa panig ng LPO, ang di masasahik nila is Tagle. You have Alamo, Clarion, La 
pasaran and yung nakita natin sa top place of the week natin si Romel Saliente who won the game for them that is block number five for Maudo Diof and he also had the presence of mind to bounce it off of Clarion para bumalik sa CEU ang possession and take a look at this one he thought he was wide open but not so much because Diof had his hands down tempting him if not to actually take that outside shot and then all of a sudden sky's high for that block. If we have the top 5 blocks of the week, <laughs> it's going to be called oh, the Maldo uh, Dio uh, blocks of the week. Sponsored by Maldo Dio. Sponsored by Maldo Dio. 8 and 45 to go. Third quarter. Saliente, nakalusot. Iniwan pa kay Clarion and he gets the do. Good find, unselfish play. As you see, as deep as the LPU. Waiting for Diof to be attracted in terms of defense and finding that open guy sa loob. Diof, dinagdakan si Alamo! UCBL 2018 season is supported by Holy Cow Steaks, Ribs, and Chops. These two players had to be separated. At si Diof. <laughs> Diof is just all smiles. This guy has got a good personality. And why not? Ngingiti ka talaga pagkatapos mong magbigay ng ganong klaseng dakdak. Referees reviewing what happened earlier. Mukhang tinitingnan nila kung kailangan ng technical fouls yeah, or whatsoever. Wala naman. So it's gonna be 14 second shot clock para sa CEU. Ginitaran. Flipped it off. Diof, too tall for everyone. Diof was fouled by Alamo. And again, the frustration probably if you're Coach Giovanni is the fact that how is still the of inside the shaded area for that long? You know that they're like the, the guys will look for him if ever they make an attempt. Alam natin na magiging agresibo to si Diof going for that rebound. So if you're the defender of Diof, kaya naman itulak to palabas eh. Wag mo lang papayagan na nandun siya ng ganun katagal. That's right, no? Ang kailangan kasi you do your work before uh -huh. that shot goes up. Dahil kapag nakuha niya na offensive rebound, that's good night. That's more, that's about 99% Two points, yeah, put back and That's a good point, Judd. I mean, it, it, it's not as if you can just get the rebound from this guy. So you know that you have to outsmart him in every way. That means pushing him out of that area. If umpisa pa lang, pag tumatawid pa lang si D of ng half court, banga e mo na para mapagude. Eh. But don't let him stay that too long underneath the basket. May pinag-uusapan ng ating mga officials. They're trying to clarify some stuff with our technical committee. Nagkakaroon na rin kasi ng pisikalan dito. Well, we saw already, nung first half pa lang, Wamar, tsaka Lapasaran, nagkaroon ng banggan. But there's a technical foul that's gonna be whistled here on CEU. Antayin natin yung official announcement. They're about ready to announce kung sino nga ba nakatulan. Improper bench decorum ang... Uh, Naging problema ng CEU kung bakit mabibigyan ng free throw. Ito sila pasaran. He makes good with the technical freebie. Pero on the other side naman magkakaroon ng dalawang free throw si Diof. How hard is it, Juan, as a player to stay focused kapag uh, nagkakaroon na ng mga pisikalan and... Makikita mo naman, mararamdaman mo naman kapag ka talagang iniinis ka eh. And, and, so, and you know, for some yeah. players, that, that works eh. Parang for them, it's fuel to actually keep pushing forward and, and, and fighting through it. But some people just get their head out of the game. And there, I mean, you can use it either way. It's, it really demands a lot of maturity for a player to use that physicality to ignite anything in your team. Sometimes, sometimes some coaches really want it just to wake up their teammates or their players. And Alamo picking up from where he left in the first quarter. Hindi natin masyado nakita sa second quarter to. But again, he is a good source of points in the shaded area for LPU. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Maxell Power Tools. Three-point play para kay Alamo. 
12-point lead para naman sa CEU. Here's Caballero against Castro. Lots of off-ball movement. Hindi ka mawala bola kay Diop. He attacks it. Oh, Diop! Putting that ball on the floor. Not the most yeah. ideal situation, but CEU will take the two points. You know, what you don't like for LPU is the fact that he got his ball from, uh, from the three-point line, and when he drove to the basket, no help was seen. Another end one opportunity para sa LPU. One thing na ginagawa nito mga pirata, they are simply not stopping. Pag may pagkakataon, kukunin. They continuously led by Lapasaran to attack that fast break. And you can see the frustration from Caballeros asking his teammates, like, you gotta sprint down, you gotta help me because the first sign and window that LPU has, they will attack and push that ball because they don't like the defense of CEU to set. Pag nandiyan na at naka half court defense to, malamang sa malamang, your presence ni Diop will be a big factor. So they're trying to eliminate that by running and pushing the ball. May foul na itatawag on that shot mula kay Caballero. There will be two free throws for Keanu. Si Wamar limited minutes dito sa ating laro. No? But the other guards, yun naman ang mag maganda dito sa CEU. Napakalalim ng guard rotation. Nag-start sa kanila si Diaz. And you can also bring in the mix with guys like Jan Formento, Judel Fuentes, Kobe Caballero, hindi pa nga natin nakikita. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Jerry's Grill. That's another steal para dito kay Diop. He's just filling up the stat sheet para sa atin. He actually has four steals and five blocks. Ang pwede natin makita sa kanya as he gets that to uh, Kikitaran. An assist. Apat na rin assist niya, so he can very likely get a 5x5 five five here. What's more impressive to you, Juan? 5x5 five five or triple-double? Wow. Uh, you know, for me, filling up the stat sheet, you can you can sense the presence of him not just in one side of the court, meaning in terms of offense, kasi kung assist, three rebounded points. But for him to fill up that stat sheet, it means he's active in both ends of the floor. Yung 5x5 five five po, ibig sabihin, you get at least 5 in... Five different categories, so... He's a... Si Diop, eh, malamang makukuha yun ngayon dahil nga... He's one assist and one steal. Away from that. Away from that. Six minutes pa na iiwan sa ating third quarter. 16-point lead para sa CEU. Saliente with the offensive foul. Humahawi, sumusubok makakuha ng posisyon kontra kay Caballero. Who has played him extra physical. Nakita-kita na natin yung frustration na bumuuna sa panik ng LPU Batangas. We'll cut to a break. A timeout has been whistled on the floor. 5 and 54 remaining in the third. 57-41 in favor of CEU. Napakaraming mga pasa na nating nakita dito from both teams. Pero ito ang ating assist of the game brought to you by Jerry's Grill. Isa dun sa apat na assists ni Maldo Diop dito sa ating laro. And yung kanina, no, so pinanggit natin, pinakita din natin yung graphic depicting Diop as someone who's peerless yeah. dito. Walang katulad sa UCBL and he's showing why. Ay! Nawala lang yung bola sa kanya on his way to the basket. Solid defense para sa LPU Batangas. UCBL 2018 season is supported by Tough Mama. Diof with the steal again. David will try to finish yung layup niya. Walang dinamaan and Diof is hacked by Alamo. 